This salmon recipe is incredibly easy. So the first thing you want to do is select the best salmon you can find. We've taken the bones out. You can see it's center cut. And you want to make sure you have a very even piece of salmon. Serve the portion that's correct. You don't have to serve eight ounces of salmon. I recommend five to six. That's it. It's a very rich fish. And then to make the salmon leaf, we're going to go back in the very center, and then we're going to make a cut until we feel the skin. We're not going to go through it. Pull it back on itself, and you have like a leaf. And so when you grill it, the char gets in all parts of the salmon, and it really tastes delightful. And we're going to put these on top of our very special salad, which we're going to make now. First thing we need, a cucumber. And I use the hothouse or gourmet cucumbers, which are the long ones. They're seedless. And what I do is I crush it in a towel, and I just smash it with the back of my hand just to get that smell of cucumber going. And you rough chop it, put it in a bowl. To that, we're going to add some really nice, finely diced chive. You take some medjool dates, beautiful big fat dates. I'm Middle Eastern, and I just love dates. They're incredibly dense and rich. Walnuts I've slivered, sliced, chopped. You can do whatever you want. And then some kosher salt, a little pepper, some fresh lemon. And please don't buy lemon in a jar. Just cut one and squeeze it and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. With a little bit of sliced fennel. You save the fronds, the little green parts. You can actually throw that in, too. That gives it a nice, beautiful, rich flavor as well. Toss it lightly. That's it. Let's go to the grill. The hardest part of this dish is getting the grilling of the salmon right. We just lit this about 45 minutes ago. We just have enough coal, and we've laid it out. It's got to be a medium to high heat, which means you can hold your hand on top of the fire for five seconds, six inches above the grill. If you can only do it for two seconds, it means the grill's too hot. Secondly, the grate, we're going to take a rag, dip it in a little oil, and just wipe it. What you're doing here is you're cleaning the grill, and you're moistening the grill with just enough olive oil. If you go get your salmon, they should be at room temperature. You lightly brush the skin and the flesh with the smallest amount of olive oil. Season it lightly with sea salt, put it on the grill, and walk away. And that's another thing that people can't do. They want to poke it, touch it, and flip it. If it's ready to move, it will tell you. And what I mean by that is it will come off the grill. Ah, you see? Now it's ready. And you'll see as you just flip over it without any effort, and the grill will be clean. So I cooked it about two and a half minutes on the first side and about a minute and a half on the other side. And you want a little bit of pink in a salmon. I tend to medium, but salmon is one of those things to be served medium rare. Bring it back in. Put the salmon on top of the salad. A touch of extra virgin olive oil on top to finish. And you have your dish that will really impress your friends. I guarantee it.